Um, there is definitely uh, a question that we all have uh, in our minds is that, um, so women are not a minority in this world mm -hmm. <laughs> and our industry is exactly the opposite. Yeah. And when you look at the figures, mm -hmm. at the statistics, just in France, only I think 20% uh, uh, of directors are female directors. Mm -hmm. um, and this is something I cannot really explain because when you look at uh, the numbers in schools, in mm -hmm. cinema schools, mm -hmm. they are equally successful, 50-50 yep. yep. most of the time, yep. get out of the school successfully, yep. are being selected. And what happens between the moment they get out of school and the moment they're going to direct their first feature films? And why female directors have so much um, problems carrying mm -hmm. on their projects, mm -hmm. make them produced. Mm -hmm. um, so the whole uh, question is, uh, do they have the right network? Do they have enough confidence? Uh, and shall we not just look at who are the decision makers? Like, shall we not look at commissioners, creators, editors in the art world, basically, that are taking, taking these kind of crucial decisions mm -hmm. for someone's career. Well, this is pretty much where, where I disagree. It's not that I disagree on the fact that there's not enough women in key positions, because that's so obvious that there's no ground to disagree. Still, the one thing that I'm bothered with uh, when, it goes to, when it comes to parity is that I don't believe that it's a solution, because I believe the, that the problem is much, much deeper mm -hmm. th than, than that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, and I don't think it's going to solve the entire problem. No, it's uh, not going to solve the entire problem. If you don't... Um, parity is more a consequence. But if you don't inquire parity in those key positions, that how can you give access to these yeah. women to express themselves? Th because no. they need to go through those gates. Let no? me, let me cry, clarify my, 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 my... I think that eventually parity uh, uh, should be there. Not only parity in terms of gender, mm -hmm. but also in terms of, uh, of ethnic groups. Yeah, or, diversity but, but, in yes, general. Yes, but I don't think it should be forced. I think it should be the, the consequence of, and the, the illustration of the fact that we actually addressed and solved the problem. Mm. And I, I believe that the only way to address and solve the problem is through education. And it's interesting, I mean, in France there's a school that's been created uh, 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 in Lyon that's targeting, and it's a very, very uh, 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 difficult selection process. It's mm. as difficult as FEMIS, mm. but it's not uh, thought in the same way. Mm. They are targeting people who couldn't afford living in Paris, yeah. even sharing a room in Paris, yeah. uh, couldn't afford a private school, mm. uh, who usually were not living in a city, usually couldn't afford uh, uh, going, you know, having big, I mean, studying for long, but who, with a strong uh, personality. And it's interesting the results that they come up with. Mm. There's, there's naturally a very strong diversity. They don't push diversity. They don't. They just try to eliminate a, a certain kind of people obstacles. that's already yes, yes, exactly. They try to eliminate obstacles, and the result when you see the the, 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 the students is that uh, uh, it it's naturally diverse. Yeah. And I think it's really bad because this is something that could be very positive for all of us, the, for the whole industry. Mm -hmm to have more diversity in the representation of a more modern society, of our society. Like it's not only one type of point of view that we're going to see in cinema. The funny thing is I've been, uh, I've always been, but I think it's only, honest, honestly, I think it's by chance. I've always been working with, with more female directors at any given moment in my producer's life. Mm -hmm. I've always been working on more films that are di directed by uh, female yeah. than male. Yeah. And uh, maybe it's not by chance, but it was never consciously because I think there should be more female directors or... And then suddenly this topic is on the table, like publicly. When you were referring to women that are not being given the chance to uh, direct uh, big studio films, mm -hmm. for example, or big budget film, that's also the same thing for certain type of films, like uh, genre films, for example. Uh, it's not that easy to no. think that people are going to give the chance no. to a female director no. to do a horror film no. or a genre film. And, and you did one who yes. was very successful and suddenly like, people think, oh, women director can direct this kind yeah, of film. Yeah, and it's interesting because it, this is also very much related to the fact that the usual audience or in people's minds, in executives' minds, the, the audience for genre films should be male for yeah, some yeah. reason, why yeah. no one knows. Yeah. And, and, and the fact is I had the same problem also 
financing uh, The Girls of the Sun, mm -hmm. uh, on the fact that it was part of the film is a war film, yes. and people are really yes. questioning yes. the uh, ability of my yes. director yes. To, uh, to direct a war film. Yes. So why would I be in a situation when I should answer this question? Mm -hmm. Why no one, nobody would have you know, questioned me about it if it was a male director? <laughs>